Hey everybody, Tech Tarted, 22nd September 2022. Hope your week is going well. So I was cruising around on Telegram. I was looking at a uh, channel that likes to do exposés of uh, folks that are fighting for the Ukrainian army, uh, foreign volunteers, and I found uh, a brief synopsis of a guy who's from my home state of Virginia down in South Boston and I read about what they had on him and that he was a very outspoken prominent member of the Boogaloo Boys. Now I'm not going to get into the whole thing of does the Boogaloo Boys really exist? Are they terrorists? Are they that? Are they that? No, I'm not going to get into that at all. What really kind of amazed me as I put two and two together. Um, the people who are benefiting the most from the war in Ukraine are, are the Democrats and the, and the Biden administration and the people who pull Joe Biden's strings. Uh, there's no hiding from this. I don't believe that you can argue against that. Um, yet, Joe Biden also hates the Boogaloo Boys, hates patriotic Americans, hates what I would consider to call the warrior class in this country of patriotic Americans who are willing to serve in the military, willing to pick up a rifle and defend folks. Biden hates those people. All you have to do is look at the people who are Democrats who have been in the military. Uh, Hunter Biden kicked out for cocaine um, General Milley, thoroughly modern Milley, the guy who was going to uh, basically uh, commit treason if a president decided to loot, launch nukes against China by notifying the Chai Coms. And this guy's still like head of the military. So, isn't it interesting that these folks are going over and they're fighting to kill Russians, which is what Biden wants, because Biden wants the money that's flowing into Democrat coffers from Ukraine to continue flowing your tax dollars at work. But he's getting all these folks who he doesn't like out of the country. He's getting large numbers of patriotic Americans, guys who aren't afraid to serve in the military, to go over. Now, I will tell you from uh, my experience, there are two distinct groups of individuals, well, actually three distinct groups of individuals, leaving from the United States to go to Ukraine to fight. Uh, the first one is already over there. That's the neo-Nazi effect. Uh, the guys who uh, wanted to go hang out with Azov and Right Sector. And those guys were already over there before the war began. And there may be a few more who left because they uh, heard the call all of a sudden. The second group are criminals who know that they're going to get caught up with. Um, there's a guy that I know in a community north of here who had certain problems with the law and he was hoping to get away to Ukraine, but the law caught up with him before he could get on the plane to Poland. The last group are decent guys. They're military guys. They, they, they see what they thought was an oppressed people and they went. Now, I will tell you some of those guys didn't do their research very well. And I know some guys that went over and I don't have a problem with them. Um, not for me. Um, I looked at going over there in about 2015, but I would have been on the other line, side of the line of contact. And after I looked into it for a good six months to a year, I decided that some of the people who I knew who were over there weren't people I wanted to be involved with. The cause may have been good, but I didn't want to, to me at least, but I didn't want to lay down with dogs because I didn't want to get them fleas. So I find it a little interesting that folks will just jump and go and grab a gun and go kill Russians within two to three weeks of a war breaking out without doing any research. And I think we saw that with the guys who were saying how they were mistreated at the hands of the Ukrainians, how they were under equipped and used as cannon fodder. Um, you know, these, these things came out 
and they were well documented. Um, and then I do one guy who I know um, through one of the hobbies I'm engaged at in. I know he went to uh, serve in a medical pass capacity with the Ukrainian army. Good guy, veteran. I got no problems with him. He's a good guy. He went over and uh, came back. Uh, he had some unflattering things to say, and I don't press him about uh, his experiences over there. That's for him. I don't want to, you know, make it a curiosity. I do. I figure one day we're going to sit down and discuss and we'll get up, up a conversation. We've had a couple minor conversations. Um, and, you know, he's a good dude. But he got over and figured out it's not for him. And he's back home now. And like I said, he, he did not have some flattering things to say about his treatment or how the Ukrainian op army operated. So Biden benefits by getting these guys to go take part in operations against the Russians. He benefits if they don't come home because those won't be people um, that he has to uh, worry about. He, he doesn't like them anyhow. His supporters don't like him. So that's a win-win. And I'll be quite honest, folks, I'm not so sure that when this all wraps up, that there'll be a massive shift back to the way things used to be as far as the legalities of fighting in a foreign army. Used to be, you forfeited your American citizenship by fighting in the military of a foreign nation. It was one of the best ways to be stripped of your citizenship. Um, I look forward to go back to that because I think once the uh, Democrats and the government have all these folks who could potentially be seen to be a problem for the government because they simply don't lie down to be fucked. Um, the government benefits by them not coming home. It's a benefit for them to stay out of the country. So I look for there to be, after all this wraps up, and Ukraine's going to lose, um, I look for there to be some sort of legislation or an act to reaffirm that these folks are persona non grata in the United States and will go to jail when they return. I, you know, I, I hate to say it, but I think it'll be done and I think it'll be done quietly. And I think it's sad because this is a way for the powers that be to diminish patriotic Americans. They trick patriotic Americans into going. They, they continue to lie to patriotic Americans. The patriotic Americans that readily jump and go are expendable to this government. They would much rather have a weak army that benefits their agenda. You know, it, it's amazing. Um, so many kick, troops kicked out of the military over a, a, an experimental injection people thrown out of the military for having an opinion that was voiced outside of being in uniform. Uh, the military didn't like certain things that ended up on troopers' uh, Facebook pages. And it's interesting. All the folks are on Facebook and they find these couple guys and throw them out for various things. Um, I'm just not sure where this is going, folks. It just seemed odd to me that the people pushing this war and the people who are benefiting from this war hate the people who've left this country to go fight that war. And I just, I think it's a horrible situation. But it is what it is. All right, folks, you take care. I'll talk to you later. Bye.